Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Thursday. We got Mar full day, you know, full day slate of March Madness here. Going to be awesome and um, super excited. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on college basketball player props, uh, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play. They're doing a March Madness promo up until Sunday for new depositors only. Deposit a minimum of $5, get a $5 match, and 10 extra dollars. So deposit five, get $20 to play with. Go ahead and do it. Take advantage. Use it on this slate today. Hopefully you can get some nice wins and uh, take advantage of that easy money. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Uh, four matchups that I do like. It's very tough looking at the slate because um, there's just a lot of games that can go either way. That's the beauty of March Madness. Every single game has upset potential. No matter if you're a one seed, doesn't matter. We've seen in the past, I'm pretty sure, I think only eight times ever have two number one seeds made it to the championship game. So statistically, um, there's going to be a lot of upsets. Number ones will be taken out. And uh, that's the beauty of March Madness. So I um, found four games that I do like. Um, and yeah, we'll hop in it. Four matchups, starting with Marquette versus UNC. UNC opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over-under at 152. Um, these teams have played twice before. Both teams splitting a win. Uh, Marquette just four and six in their last ten. They kind of struggled these last... They kind of struggled these last two months here, coming off that loss against Creighton. UNC has played great, eight and two in their last ten. Had that lot bad loss against Virginia Tech, one they should have really won to got to that championship game. Marquette just one six and one covering in their last eight. UNC four and one covering in their last five. Um, I like North Carolina here. I mean, this is their time. March Madness. That's usually where North Carolina shines. They got a really good team here. Only a three and a half point spread. Um, I kind of like the three and a half points, but just to be safe, I think a lot of these games are going to be pretty close. Give me North Carolina in this matchup. Next matchup, we have South Dakota State versus Providence. Providence opening up as two point favorites with the over under at 148 and a half. Um, these teams have not played before. South Dakota State. Um, I mean, they're on a crazy run, a 20 game win streak. I mean, they just dominated this season, finished the season 30 and four, 17, 14 and one covering the spread. Um, I mean, yeah, eight, two and one covering as the underdog, um, Providence coming off that just beat down against Creighton as favorites. I mean, I don't know what happened there. They didn't show up. This is a really good South Dakota State team and one of the best upset potentials for the March Madness. Um, I mean, God, they're on a 20 game win streak. This is the South Dakota State team is no joke. They're a great team. They just don't play the top tier talent. And Providence had a great season too. But man, I like South Dakota State plus two here. I think it's gonna be a heck of a matchup and um, we're gonna see what happens. South Dakota State, has a great shot pulling off a huge upset and I'm on board. Give me South Dakota State plus two. Uh, next matchup, we have Vermont versus Arkansas. Arkansas opening up as five point favorites with the over under at 139 and a half. These teams have not played before. Uh, Vermont nine and one in their last 10. They're on an eight game winning streak. They are just 0 and five against the SEC. Um, Arkansas coming off that bad loss against AM, but still 15 and 3 in their last 18, 11, 2 and 1 covering in their last 14. Yeah, I love Arkansas in this matchup. You know, Arkansas is my college team, so going to be a biased pick, but rolling with Arkansas throughout the whole thing. And only a five point spread against Vermont. I mean, man, Arkansas should destroy Vermont. I mean, Vermont had a great season, 28-5, and five, but uh, they haven't played good against the SEC historically. 
and um, Arkansas normally does great in their first round every year. Give me Arkansas minus five and money line. And then the last one, we have San Francisco versus Murray State. Murray State opening up as a two-point favorite with the over-under at 137. These teams have played once before. Murray State winning that matchup by three points. San Francisco, six and four in their last 10. Uh, Murray State, I mean, on a 20-game win streak. God, they're another unbelievable team. Haven't lost basically in a long time. They're 30 and two this season, which is crazy. Um, San Francisco, they're four and one covering the spread. One and 10 as the underdog though. They don't do well as the underdog. I'm Brian Murray State here. Haven't lost in such a long time. I mean, they're, they played so great this season. Only a two point spread here. Man, hard not to love Murray State in the run they're on. Rolling with Murray State in this matchup. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hopefully your brackets do good, guys. Um, and yeah, let me know your, who you guys like in the comments below. Who you guys like to win and all. Um, a lot of great matchups today. A lot of big teams, 20-point underdogs that I do like. I didn't want to include them just because, you know, they were kind of risky. But um, love the matchups on the board. Have fun. See you in the next video.